Tomazzi Entertainment. Hello everybody, we are so happy and glad to announce a new member to the Tomazzi Entertainment family. Yeah, this is Kenny Glover. He's actually down in California, isn't he? Yes, he is in California. He'll be doing movie reviews, game reviews, and a lot of other stuff. So, thank you very much for Kenny for joining the family. Here's his review. It's Kenny! When it comes to me and LEGO games, I can say with all honesty that I haven't played one since LEGO Racers on the Nintendo 64, and that was all the way back in the year 2000. I was 10 then. Needless to say, it's something that I grew out of. But I can't deny that the toy line, which by the way has been running strong since 1949, still has a charm to it. And you know what? That charm carries over to this game here. LEGO Indiana Jones 2 is a platformer based off a series of toys, based off a series of movies. Now, under usual circumstances, this formula would spell disaster. But not in this game's case. This is actually a pretty okay title. Granted, Indiana Jones 2 is geared towards a younger audience in mind. So, unless you're between the ages of 4 and 12, you're not gonna get too invested in this game. However, even if you're not in that age group, you'll still find a bit of mindless fun to be had. The game's story is episodic, and they're based off of the four films. It's also told through these cutscenes. The cutscenes have no spoken nor written dialogue. The characters convey their emotions through facial expressions, body language, and grunts. If you've seen the movies, then you pretty much know how these scenarios play out anyway. Personally, I think the devs were being clever when they decided to present the story this way. It's, believe it or not, appealing. One of the main things that you do throughout the game is collect these little Lego pieces that are both scattered and hidden all around the levels. Don't dismiss these things, because they're actually needed to unlock more levels in the game. You can find Lego pieces placed around in plain sight, and you can find some hidden and breakable objects. Another neat thing about Indiana Jones 2 is how the main objectives follow the plots of the movies. For instance, the boss battle that I had with Arnold Tote and his thugs in the tavern coincides with what happened in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Another interesting aspect of this game is having the choice of playing as other characters from the films. That's a cool little feature. Sometimes you'll even need to switch to these characters in order for you to explore more of the levels and gain access to more stuff. Speaking of exploring, Indiana Jones 2 tends to reward you for your inquisitiveness. If there's anything that I absolutely love about platforming games, it's a good exploration session. Now, to be honest, compared to other 3D platformers such as Banjo-Kazooie or even the more recent Mario Odyssey, there's not an awful lot to delve into, though keep in mind, this game's main audience is kids, thus the minimal amount of exploration is forgivable. There's also some puzzle solving in Indiana Jones too. Most of them are not hard to figure out, but some of them will get those cogs in the old noggin turning. It's good that the devs did that. Any game that's geared towards a younger crowd and has some problem solving thrown in the mix is a good thing gets those kids ready for the hard stuff that they'll face in games like Resident Evil or Zelda. On one hand, I can definitely suggest this game to kids. It follows the movies well enough, the exploration, whilst minimal, is fun, and the puzzle solving is well made. However, LEGO Indiana Jones 2 is a bit of a harder sell if you're not in the age group that it was marketed to. If you're looking for a platformer with meatier gameplay and story, then it's best to look somewhere else. That is, unless you're just looking for some mindless fun. This is the kind of game that you'd put in when you just want to relax and not devote so much time to. So I give LEGO Indiana Jones 2 a 6.5 out of 10. It's an okay title. And you know something? Not all games need to be totally great or totally bad. They could be just run-of-the-mill and plain and still be fun. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this little review, but be sure to check out more coming your way soon.
Thanks, Kenny, for your first official review for Tomazzi Entertainment. And there's lots more reviews from Kenny coming in the future, so stay tuned.